As a Google Workspace Administrator, you may be required to perform data migration, such as email, calendar, and contacts from another Google Workspace account, Gmail account, or a third-party service provider to your Google Workspace account. Before starting setting up the data migration service, Google offers different tools and methods to migrate different types of data. The table on the screen shows some of these available methods. For more help and information about which method will be most suitable for your needs, you can check the Help Center article appearing on the screen. You can also find this link in the description of this video. Let's continue with the setup. As the initial step, check if the source account from where your data will be migrated is supported by the Data Migration Service, DMS for short. You can check the Help Center article on the screen to know if it is supported. You will also find this and upcoming links in the description of this video. Once we know the source account is supported, let's start by going to your admin console at admin.google.com. Then, click on the menu at the top left corner of the screen. Then, go to Account, and then Data Migration. Once we reach the DMS screen, click on Set up Data Migration to start with the process. In this next step, you need to select the migration source. Make sure you check the Help Center article on the screen to know how to prepare your source account to allow the migration. Once you have prepared the source account, we will select it from the list. In this example, we will set up the migration for another Google Workspace account. Depending on the source account selected, you will be required to add more details and if you will migrate email, contacts, or calendar. Note that DMS can only migrate one data type at a time. When done, Click Start. In the next page, you can select the migration start date. You can either select a time frame from the list or use a custom date. Also, you can choose if deleted emails or junk emails will be migrated, as well as excluding specific folders from the migration. When done, click Select Users. In this new screen, you will see a brief recap of the migrations such as the source and the start time. We need to start adding the users from where the migration will be performed, and also the new target user. You can either do individual users or bulk add using a CSV file. In this example, we will do a single user. To start, click Add User. Now, we need to add the source email address of the user. the user's password, and the target's user in this Google Workspace account. Once you finish adding all of the required details, click Start. Congratulations! You have successfully set up a data migration for emails from one Google Workspace account to another. You can repeat the process for other source accounts and data type as many times as necessary. The progress of the migration will appear on this same page under the Status column. Be aware that this indicator may also appear to be stuck at a certain percentage, but the migration is still ongoing, so just be patient. For more help, check out the Get Started with the Data Migration Service page in the Google Workspace Admin Help Center. You will also find this link in the description of this video.